If you want a physique like Tom Hardy's, don't do what he did. He did some pretty stupid shit during his transformation and there's much better ways of getting it done. But I'm not here to shit on Tom Hardy as a person. I mean, look at this guy. This guy's fucking awesome. I'm here because a lot of people, including myself, look up to Tom Hardy's transformation from you know a skinny little hard gainer to being goddamn Bane, thickness personified. So a lot of the Bane stands out there are gonna look at Tom Hardy's training routine in the past and try to emulate that to get the same results. But seeing as they're not high paid Hollywood actors with access to, let's say, uh, performance enhancers, the whole thing probably won't work out as well for them as it did for Tom. So in this video, I'm gonna highlight some of the crazy shit that Tom Hardy put his body through. And I'm also gonna show you how you can naturally get the same results as Tom Hardy did in Bane, Venom, and all those other you know badass hard guy movies. This will be surprising to anyone who came to know Tom Hardy from his roles in Venom, Batman, or even Warrior, but Tom Hardy used to be a skinny kid. Actually like a really skinny kid. So going from there, you'll be even more surprised to hear that his first transformation wasn't gaining a significant amount of weight, but was actually losing a significant amount. In 2007, Tom Hardy played Stuart Shorter, a kid with muscular dystrophy. So to look the role, he had to lose 30 pounds, which is kind of fucked up because he doesn't really look like he has 30 pounds to lose. But God bless his soul, he did it, never stepping away from a challenge. And then just a year later for his role in Bronson, he gained that same 30 pounds back, right back to where he started. But he didn't do it over the whole year, no, that'd be too easy. For some ungodly reason, he did it in five weeks. He gained seven pounds a week for five weeks, gaining 35 pounds in total. Why the hell? So how does one gain 35 pounds in five weeks? Well pretty much exactly how you would expect. Coca-Cola, pizza, haagen and I imagine pretty much anything else you could get his hands on. I don't think I need to explain to you why this isn't a good idea and isn't a good strategy to emulate. But I'm going to because this is an educational YouTube video. When you dirty bulk, you end up putting on a lot of fat mass. And then when you cut that off, you're gonna end up losing some muscle mass because you have to cut for longer. So at the end of everything, you don't really end up ahead. And also you put your body through hell putting all that garbage in it. Okay, fair enough. You know, it's Hollywood, big important actor. He's got stuff to do. There isn't time. That's fine. Uh, you know, there's probably a little bit of the Capri Sun going on as well here to help uh, expedite the process. But the thing that I really have a problem with here is the training. The training was just, uh, well, I mean, you can see for yourself. So Tom worked with a buddy of his who was an ex-Marine and they wanted to build a physique that looked like it was built in a prison cell. So you only have four walls in the floor. So a lot of body weight movements. And they wanted him to look like a criminal, you know, a bruiser. So big neck, big forearms, looks like he's beating guys up on the weekends and carrying around, you know, heavy prohibition era barrels on his neck on the weekdays. This is all well and good, but I really question, could you not have gotten better results, especially in such a short time period, by having him hit the weights? Heavy farmer's carries, trap bar deadlifts, back squats. I mean, come on, you got all the tools in the world. You're not in prison. But okay, fair enough. You know, he got the physique. He looks good. He looks criminal. And method acting's a thing, so I'll fuck off. Let's move on. So next up in 2011, the next big transformation is for Warrior. He's going from beating people up in the streets to beating the shit out of people on a ring. Legally, I might add. So I'm actually mostly a fan of how he trained for Warrior. You know, he went from 162 to 185, which is a pretty big gain, and he also shred a good amount of body fat, but he had a lot longer to train for this role. The diet also, unsurprisingly, was significantly better. Tom Hardy points out that he was mostly eating things like chicken and broccoli, a classic. Probably not the healthiest way of going about things, but it's definitely better than haagen and Coca-Cola. The thing I have a problem with wasn't what he was doing. You know, he was doing MMA, which makes sense for the role. He was doing a couple hours of weight training a day. You know, that's all fine and good. But I just got problems with the volume. He was doing so much goddamn volume. So every day he did two hours of mixed martial arts, two hours of choreography, and this is choreography for fighting. So essentially another two hours of fighting and then two hours of heavy weight training every single goddamn day. That is insane. So this is exactly what I'm talking about. If someone comes in fresh saying, hey, I wanna look like Tom Hardy, they see a video where it talks about him training for six hours a day, every single day, and they think that's what you need to look like Tom Hardy, that's just not true. It's simple, all you need is some heavy weights with a reasonable amount of volume for your lifestyle and your body, good sleep, and high quality food, lots of protein, lots of carbs. 
And the biggest one is time. You know, these actors have to do these transformations in a matter of weeks or months where you have time to do it in a healthy, sustainable way. But okay, okay, I'm getting a little bit off track. The next one's exciting. So next we're gonna take a look at Big Papa himself, Bane. So obviously the character of Bane is a presence. It's not just about being ripped, it's about just having mass. He needs to be intimidating. I mean, you can see how he bats around Batman and snaps him over his knee like a twig. So Tom had to get beefy for this role. He put on another about five to 10 pounds to play Bane, and then most of it was fat. As you can tell in this role, he's definitely less defined than he was in Warrior. But like I said, I mean, that makes him scary. And Tom Hardy actually kept it pretty healthy with this bulk, eating things like peanut butter, protein powder, eggs, tuna salad sandwiches, you know, definitely on the heavier caloric side of things, but that's exactly what he wanted, going for 3,300 calories a day. So the training for Warrior and the prep for Bane, all pretty reasonable. The next one for Mad Max Fury Road, we kind of, we go back off the, uh, the rails a little bit. So Tom Hardy had 30 pounds to lose for Mad Max Fury Road. Obviously in the world of Mad Max, post-apocalyptic, there's probably not a lot of tuna fish sandwiches going around. So if he's beefed up like Bane, that's not gonna be realistic. So 30 pounds to lose, how did he do it? So in an interview, he said he wanted to look like a hungry wolf or a cat when you put him in the bath, whatever that means. So he smoked cigarettes and ate one meal per day. That was the plan. And I mean, it did work, so good job, I guess. There's been a few interviews with Tom Hardy where he talks about how much he fucked up his body with all these transformations. And yeah, man, no shit. I mean, you're smoking cigarettes all day and you're eating one meal. I, what do you expect to happen? Uh, all right, so last up, 2018, he's prepping for his role in Venom. He kept it pretty simple, mostly sticking to MMA style training. So like I said, Tom Hardy put his body through some shit. And again, in interviews, he's talking about how he doesn't feel good, how his joints click when they didn't used to before. So obviously this isn't the best way of going about it. What is the best way to go about it? Focus on heavy compound movements like deadlifts, farmer's carries, things that are gonna build up the neck and traps. Eat in a caloric surplus, probably about 200 to 300 calorie surplus per day, and make sure you're getting in at least 0.7 grams of protein per pound of body weight. Make sure you're getting at least seven hours of sleep a night, and most importantly, take your goddamn time. There's no rush. Building a physique like this naturally is just gonna take time. I'm gonna leave a program down below in the description that you can follow, which is gonna be a great kicking off point if you wanna look like Tom Hardy. That's the video. If you enjoyed it, please subscribe, like, and let me know down in the comments who I should cover next. See you guys.